Hi, welcome to another Dora tutorial. In today's video, we'll explore relative units like fill and hug. We'll discuss what fill is and how to effectively implement it, as well as the concept of hug and the best practices for its use. We'll also cover an example of using both fill and hug in a responsive layout. First, let's see how fill works. Add a container inside the one on the canvas and go to the right panel. Let's change this from fix width to fill space and fix height to fill space as well. It ensures that your container will always adapt to the size of its parent element. Next, let's see how hug works. Set the parent container's padding to 40 and change its width and height to hug contents. See how it adjusts its size to fit the content with padding? That's hug. Another example is with text. It ensures that your element is always just the right size for its content. Now let's combine fill and hug to create a more complex layout. Our goal is to make every element in this layout responsive throughout all viewports. So let's start by setting each element's fill and hug. First for this block, let's set the paddings to 40 and place the title to align left and top. For this paragraph of text, align left and set its top constraint. In this case, we want to fill width and set the height to hug content. And for this image, the best way is to set its top and bottom constraints first, center align it and set its width and height both to fill space. See how this block becomes responsive? Let's do the same for the next one. We want the height of this to be the same as the first block. So let's connect the top and bottom and set the height to fill space. Next, what we need to do is to add paddings and set this image aligned to the top and center align. Set this button aligned to the bottom and set their constraints. Then set both buttons width to fill space. Now this block is responsive as well. Next, let's set the image below to our expected width. Connect its left and right to the other blocks. Then set its width to fill space. With everything set up, let's go to preview. Let's resize the viewport to see how our layout adapts. That is how you use fill and hug to create responsive websites. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.